What is up? Hold up, hold up. What is up, guys? How are you guys doing? Notice anything different? Probably haven't noticed. But I am using the new Hero 7 Black. Um, I was currently using the uh, Hero 5 Black, which was great. Um, it has the screen on it. The quality is really good. I never had any problems with it. Um, it worked pretty well for me. Even nighttime shooting was good. Uh, no complaints from the 5, but you know, GoPro comes out with a new GoPro like every month. So did some comparison research on the Hero 7 versus like the 5 and everything. And this 7 right here, this thing right here is definitely better. Um, the sound audio should be better. Uh, the resolution should be a little bit better. The shot, everything should look a lot more clear. It should look more like a vlog quality, I would say. Um, right now I'm shooting in 2.7K at 60 frames per second. I believe that is the highest setting that you can use while using the new stabilization. So as far as like moving and shaking, uh, when you're actually using it for like an action cam, it should be a lot better. Uh, this is just gonna be a short video. I'm gonna film using this 100%. It's just really a test just to see how good it is. I'm gonna leave it in this resolution for the whole video just to see how it comes out because I'm probably mainly gonna be shooting with this um, resolution, you know, as far as for racing videos and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, so currently right now I'm on my way to pick up some welds for the Z. Oh, yup. I see this guy's Corvette everywhere. It's uh, it's like a wide body C7. It looks pretty clean. I see that thing everywhere, bro. Uh, there's some guys selling them used with uh, pretty much new AT streets. They're 17, 10 and a half. Uh, I've been on the search of finding some used welds, but it's like almost impossible. Most people that order welds wait like three, four months. So that's one thing that I just didn't want to do. I didn't want them that bad, but I just waited until I found someone selling a used set. Most people that go with welds, like on a Z, they go with like a 15 inch, or most people with the welds in general. Uh, the 15 inch, I would have to remove my Akibono in the rear and put a stock brake in the back pretty much. And I really don't want to do that. So finally found someone, they were selling a 17 by 10 and a half which is perfect. Um, he doesn't know the offset, so I'm kind of iffy on that, but he had him on his Mustang. I'm pretty sure the offset's not gonna be that aggressive, so um, I'll make it work. If not, I'll just sell him or something. Few inches later. Shoo, doggy, will you look at them god darn welds right there? Oh boy, I can't wait to put these on my tractor. Shoo, and came with the god darn Mickey Thompson's street radios. Well, I'll be damned. What's popping? Thanks for stopping. What can we get for you today? Instead of the coleslaw, can I get um, extra toast? You got it. Yo, ain't this a bitch? So I've been going to Canes, bro, and they raised it 60 cents, man, for the box combo with the extra toast. But can't complain. Always get my food back fast. Kicks hack on keeping your chicken warm. Uh, bam. Hi. Oh, yup. Gap. Driving my Z in the rain would be instant fatality. <laughs> That's a death trap, bro. I don't trust people when they have their blinkers on because sometimes they go straight. Never trust that. Will they fit? We'll find out. Sticky things right here. Good tire, really good tire. I don't want to have to sell them. Let me the truth. I don't even know if a 17 fits over the damn brakes. But it's looking like these are gonna fit. Oh shit! Fuck me. 
Got him! <laughs> this has a really high offset. Fuck. Oh no. <laughs> I might have to sell them. It's really close to the caliper, but it does clear. Yeah, he didn't know the offset on them, so it was just a hit or miss. If you guys don't know what offset is on your wheels, um, to make it more understandable, it's just basically how far it's gonna stick out. So if you have like a plus 50 offset, it's gonna be really sunken. If you have a zero offset or a plus five, then it's gonna stick out a lot. For instance, these wheels, my TEs, these are a 10 and a half plus 15. Um, same as in the front. And as you can see, it has a nice poke, aggressive um, fitment on it. But if you go down to these, even though these have a huge tire and everything, um, the offset is probably gonna be like a 40. Damn it. That looks sick too. It looks straight race car. Man, sad boys. I hella thought that shit was gonna fit. All right guys, I'm just gonna sit here um, and just have a sad moment for, for a little bit. 20 minutes later. The only way to for sure clear is to put like a 15 mil spacer and I really don't wanna run spacers on this car. Um, especially on the rear, because there's just too much torque going down to the wheels, and if that spacer snaps, that's my ass. So, I'm not really trying to do that. All right, so my SD card and the GoPro ended up being full. I have too many racing videos on there. So, it looks like they're gonna be up for sale. I thought I'd just make this quick video, mainly uh, just so I could test out the GoPro and whatnot. But um, yeah, let me know what you guys think of the new quality of the GoPro. I'm supposed to tune the Evo in two days, but the way this weather is going, I don't know. If it's raining, I'm not gonna be able to do it. There's still a few things I need to do to it, and I can't get it to the shop because it's raining. So the haters got to see me fail today, so I'm pretty sure they're not gonna dislike this one. They actually might like it for a chance. So uh, yeah, man. But uh, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, man. Drop some comments, uh, show some love. I try to reply to as many people as I can, but uh, I'm out.